Well, hello everyone. I was looking at my bathroom and it's been the same. This is my hall bathroom and this curtain and these rugs have been the same for a few years. And I said, I've got to change this up. It's just this drabby color and I know what I like. I'm the queen of, bl of bling. I love bling. I like to add it to all my little projects. And I said, I want my home to start reflecting that. So how can I afford to do that? You know what? I'm going to go into the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take some time and bling out things and I'm going to achieve it. So that is what I did. So I was looking for these clear accessories with the rivets on it and I was able to find them. And so what I did was just sat down one day and I was in my living room and I just took some tacky glue and some bling and just sat down and got to going. So once I got those two done, I had a vase here that I picked up and I did the same thing with that Aileen, Aileen's uh, tacky glue. And I bling that out with the loose rhinestones I had in my stash. And then I also did the organizer lid, organizer with lid. And I added a top to the lid here. I just unscrewed that and glue that on. And then I also added some pearls. Yes, it took some time, but I knew the look that I wanted and I knew that um, to buy all these pieces blinked out like that, I knew I'd be saving some money. So it took me a little time to get these done, but I like the end effect. So I just, like I said, glued the loose pieces on there and then I'm just finishing up and then I will use this one to hold the cotton balls. And then on the sides, I used some of this bling ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And then this is how these turned out. The tops there, I'm letting those dry. And then I'm going to bling out these jars. And then I'm going to add some of these stickers. So it'll let me know what goes in there. And then this tray, I had a little bit too much going on when I put it all together, but I just wanted to still show this. I may use this for another room that I do, but I just used some glue here and I glued on the gems around there. And I also did a mirrored stand and I didn't use that one also, but I wanted to show. I took one of the round Dollar Tree mirrors and then I took one of those round circles I took the tabs off the back of this and then I glued that on and it went flat once I took the tabs off. I put the bling around it and then I used a candle holder and put it on the stand. And that is how the tray turned out once I was done with that. And I wanted to go ahead and show that because I thought it was cute. Then I took the art palettes. I took them and spray painted them silver and I took four of the mirrors here and then some of the bling from Hobby Lobby and made this tray. I got this idea from LG Home Decor and she is the bling queen and I also got this idea for this bucket. I picked that up at the Dollar Tree also, and then used a strip or two and some of those gems. And I added a brooch in the middle here, but that idea I also got from LG Home Decor and I will leave the video in the description box for both of their videos that she did this bucket and this tray in. And then I just mirrored that image and made my own other little tray up there. And then another video I was inspired with, I did with those 
trays here. I'm going to show you how I put those around the mirror and I ended up blinging those out. So I cut up these strips of foam board and I fit them as a frame around the mirror, those plain mirrors. And then once I did that, I used some command strips and attached them to the mirror. I attached several of them around and then I ended up gluing those art palettes to the back of the foam board. And like I said, I would definitely have the tutorial video that I got that from in the description box. And then at the top of that, when I was done, I wanted to add a little bit of extra. So I added some gems and then I broke up one of these trays. They come in threes and I broke off two of those and added those to the top of the mirror. And the last thing I did was I was finally up in my craft room. I wish I was able to film all of these there, but I finally went up to my craft room and was able to string together some pearls. I wanted to use this heavy, heavier floral wire for that so um, that it would stay and it would be stiff around my curtains and towel. So for the towel, I just strung the pearls together. And then for my curtains, I use this the spacers here. I had a 98 cent bag that had these bling spacers in there from Walmart that was in my stash. And then I used half for one and then half for the other. And then the crystal in the middle was from a broken Christmas ornament. And I used those nice wire quarter cutters from the Dollar Tree. And this is how it turned out. So I have my towel here with the pearls on it. And then these are Walmart curtains, y'all. I wanted to do this all economical. Um, and then I just added an extra bar at the top to hang the curtains. And then those are Walmart, a heavy Walmart shower curtain in the back and then there's another clear one that's actually inside the tub there's the tray i put that on the back for watches and rings or whatever you need to take off there is that lovely bucket that i'm using going to use as a trash can so the vase is there and those whole hydrangeas that you can pick up at the dollar tree just nice and simple my mirror there with the bling I added to it and the toothbrush holder, the lotion dispenser that I blinged out and then that tray with all my cotton accessories there and then the extra bling I wrapped around the, that candle and then that mirror and then this is rental friendly guys it pops right off when needed so i just love how this turned out and it definitely gives another look this isn't a beauty channel y'all so don't knock me <laughs> but thanks for watching and i hope you give it a try <laughs>